Pastor and Corey Vervink are on the front row for the initial start of the FTF.GG 150. We're racing in Kansas. Still side by side, Gabe Wood gets to the wall behind him, and he's gonna lose a ton of time, stuck up against the outside safer barrier. Oh, trouble, Cozy's around! Off turn two, sliding it down on the apron, we stay green, it's single car, and Michael Cozy Jr., the Coke Series driver, takes a big old slide off turn number two, and gives up all that track position. Shieldhouse and Tiller, they have both started to reel in leader Garrett Smithley here, even Justin Champagne's in on this battle, Frisch, behind them we should have a fun battle for the lead here comes Schildhouse to the inside and he's going to slide that baby all the way up to the door of Garrett Smithley coming off turn number four gotta wonder if maybe Garrett uh, burned up his tires how about three wide for the lead on lap 18 to turn one three wide still Garrett Smithley committed that top lane looks like David Schildhouse though too much power for both of them going to be able to clear him through the middle and now Harry Tiller and Garrett Smithley are side by side. New leader going into turn three. It's David Schilthaus. Can we get a live look of Brayton Laster? I understand we have one. And uh, he's on pit road, as I mentioned. He he's not. Yeah, this is this is what he's doing. Um, I thought it was a pizza break, and he's on his phone. All right, so, um, yeah. Shout Brent out. Master, everybody. Yeah, wearing <laughs> the uh, David Schildhouse Core Season 5 Champion merch. Here comes Schildhouse, your race leader. He's on pit road. Harry Tiller, look out behind him. Briar LaPrade locking up the tires. Vargas is on. Gabe Wood and Gary Owen. And they all uh, make it down there safely. No black flags for any of them. Your leader right now, Michael P. Fresh and Champagne, Sean Butler, Blake McCandless, Jonathan Cadell, your top five on lap 28 of 50 here from Kansas. And here comes Fresh to pit road. Sean's going to join him. And Fresh way missed pit entry. Sean's going to spin and crash into the wall. Black flag for speeding and now damage to the front end of the 32. Around that outside, he's going to try and make it work, and he will. Oh, contact on the front straightaway. Corey Vervinked around in the tribal grass. A little bit of Still contact green. he made with Sean Butler, and yeah, no caution. It's a little bit of contact between the two. Corey Vervinked slides up off the corner, and then Sean Butler's just there, and he will not hear the end of that one, although I agree with you. I do think it was a racing deal there. Uh, the, the rest of the core field not going to let that one go, though. You'll see that one on the clown reel later tonight. <laughs> Get down to the inside. I. They have the pace. I just oh, don't know. Oh, he did it again. I don't know if He's, he has enough time. It, two laps to go. They have to get by him now and hope Schildhouse has a mistake on these next two laps. McCandless looking three wide at the middle. Instead, tucks in behind Frisch. Frisch Michael, cannot get bottom. clear. LaPrade, they're three wide again. Here comes Candless down to the bottom. And that's going to allow Shieldhouse to scoot away. Frisch again tries the middle three wide. LaPrade is just sitting up there on the outside line, but he's making it work as Shieldhouse takes the white flag. And LaPrade has the pace again. I think just tagging the wall those two times is going to cost him this race win. David Shieldhouse loves looking in his mirror right now, seeing these guys three wide behind him. Still, Brian LaPrade committed this outside lane. McCandless is going to complete the pass. For P number three, Michael P. Frisch slots in the fourth. We'll see as they come down the back stretch into turn three for the final time. This is a battle for the championship behind with McCandless and Frisch, but off turn number four to the checkered flag. Race number one belongs to David Schildhouse. First win of the Core Summer Series presented by SimbratMarket.com. 
the 20, headed to victory lane. See what happens. Race number two is green and well, what is Harry Tiller doing up the middle? They're three wide, they're four wide to turn one. Oh, it's gonna get crazy here. Still four wide, going all the way up against the wall. And this is right around your championship leader, Blake McCandless. They sorted out a little bit of a chicane. Now they're four wide again, as here comes Gabe Wood blocking Ryan Vargas. Garrett Smithley is now rolling he, after he missed the start. Meanwhile, for the lead, Justin Malillo around the outside takes it away. Sean Butler takes second from Brayton Laster. Rusty, a close call. He's going to tag the wall. So he's trouble. Through. One car around. It's Gabe Wood. And Ian Plash about drop kicked him. There may have been contact between Wood and Michael P. Frisch and the 50. Here's the replay. Yeah, Frisch said he thought there was some net code there with Gabe Wood. And a great job by everybody to keep it going right there. Gabe Wood just got the short end of the stick. Hmm. Now there's damage to the uh, right rear of Gabe Wood's car, so it definitely detected contact, whether or not there was any, though. In the core, oh boy, and here oh, comes here. Cozy to the inside. Side by side for the leadoff turn two. Oh man, oh, he close. almost wrecked it. Still side by side as they go into turn three. Cozy trying to take it from Rusty. Now Sean Butler and Wes Graham enter the picture. If Rusty can use this high side, he's going to wiggle just a little bit. Now no. Cozy and Sean Butler, one, two off four. Boy, McCandless really had the lift. He's going to lose two spots in the process. That 59 may start to drop back up on the outside of the racetrack. Meanwhile, Cozy is gone. He leads. Sean Butler second. Frisch is third. Laprade takes over fourth. Oh, Champagne will loose down to the bottom. Oh, man. Still side by side. Cozy holding strong on this outside lane. And it's Frisch and Sean Butler both on the inside. I wonder if we'll see a move from Frisch to try to get around Sean Butler. And meanwhile, Brian LaPratt reeling in this group of three for the lead. Coming back around. And again, Frisch trying to help out Sean Butler here on the inside. Great battling once again at the front of the pack. Here at Kansas, Sean, not quite clear. Here comes Frisch to the outside. Oh, come oh he turned Sean into the wall. Can they keep it up there? Yes, we stay green. Implications as far as the points. Two of the top five in the championship come together down the back stretch. Oh, man, he, he about took out Wes Graham, and they were four wide back there. We need a replay of that a lap ago in the middle of turns one and two. Oh, trouble, DT around. Off the bumper of Cadell. Going in case Kallenbach in the wall as well. Caution is out for the second time tonight. As you see, <laughs> fly guy down through the grass. And, uh, hmm. Around Man. she goes. This is the deal between Cadell and DT. And I think Cadell actually had a little bit of help from Case Kallenbach behind. If we can get it more of an overhead look here, you'll see the 82 and the 68, a little bit of contact, and I think that helps propel Cadell into the back end of DT, turns him around. We are then off in two weeks' time for the July 4th holiday. July 10th, we're back. Oh, trouble! trouble. Sean, Sean Butler, Butler through the grass. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. He will. What a save. Goodness. Gonna lose a lot of track position in time, but other than that, keeps the fenders on the race car. And that's side by side, right behind. Well, it was side by side. Champagne just drove it in really, really deep. Uh, oh, the Prats in the wall Frisch. again. There's contact. In the wall. McCandless again, and now Champagne gets turned. Frisch goes around. Vargas gets damaged. Melillo nowhere to go. Caution with 11 laps to go. And it was on. A lot of damage for folks that had some really fast cars. They're going to have to use fast repairs if they haven't already. So the 19 already in the wall. And then McCandless turns down to try and avoid. Gets into Frisch. Frisch gets hit by Champagne. And around they all go. 
And Champagne and Vargas coming together, trying to get slowed up again. Just super hard to do when you're three wide. You see following Blake McCandless right here. He's going to try to dodge. And again, just Champagne and Vargas with too much momentum. Justin Malillo has nowhere to go. A great job from David Shieldhouse to get through that mess. We will have seven laps to go to settle it here in Kansas. Strap yourself oh, in. Oh, trouble! You can finish it. Cozy spins the tires. He hits McCandless. Oh, my gosh. Cozy's upside down into the wall. Half the field is wadded up on the front straightaway, including Connor Daly and more. A horrific restart crash. And I haven't seen a flip on a restart like that, I don't think, ever. Butler, Shieldhouse, Gabe Wood, Melillo, Kem, Smithley, Tiller, Champagne, McCandless. Pretty much, if you're not named LaPrade, you got damage in that crash. And I think it was all just wheel spin for the 99 machine. My goodness. That might be crash of the year so far. Outside of Alfredo flipping in turn one here, that, I, no, I that has never. to be it up front. I mean, that's I. I'm... <laughs> oh, Cozy has left the session. He's out of the race. I think he already used his fast repair. No, he did not. He just parked it on board with Gabe Wood here. Hang on. Oh man, nowhere to go. If they crash before the light flag, though, we will go into overtime if we have to. It's a hornet's nest from Champagne on back. Trouble! Harry Tiller around. We're going to overtime. Oh, look out, Fritch! Oh, my gosh. American. And just Gabe Wood lifts those rear tires up the ground. So um, we'll see how unlimited this actually is. Green flag, two to go at Kansas. Overtime number one. Trouble. Big crash. Harry Tiller's around. Rusty, Corey Vervink. We stay green. Three cars back in the field. Yeah, meanwhile, back up at the front right now. David Schildhouse is to the inside of Blake McCandless for P number two. Both of them having to chase down Brian LaPrade, who's built up a nice lead. On the inside, though, looks like David Schildhouse should have enough to clear McCandless off four. And he will. Will he be able to put one lap together to catch the 19? White flag, no. Trouble. In the wall. Dylan Kim with Cadell and Gabe Wood. And we'll have another caution. And David Schildhouse's race may be saved. He may have a shot. Oh, Vervink gets turned off the bumper at Tiller. And nowhere for Rusty to go. This did not bring out the caution. This was some three feet past the start-finish line. Meanwhile... Back here, you watch Cadell. Three wide, gets loose, comes down. Oh, and he hooks Kim. And a hard crash to the outside wall. Tough break. Again, just getting loose. It's so easy here at Kansas. Hooks Dylan Kim hard into the wall. Gabe Wood is nowhere to go. And uh, will send us to our second attempt at overtime. Here we go. Overtime attempt number two. Green flying in the air. LaPrade gets a good launch. Shieldhouse is McCandless, winning, though. McCandless looking, but he can't get alongside. Shieldhouse is alongside, just barely. He may have to drop in line, and he will to turn number one. He loses so much time. He is loose coming off turn two. Car out of control right now. A little further back, Garrett Smithley side by side with Blake McCandless Vargas as well. One car down to the apron. It's Fly Guy. We stay green. Still through turn three and four. Coming to take the white flag is Brian LaPrade. Off turn four. They'll make it this time. White flag in the wind. One more lap to go in the FTF.GG 150. Briar LaPrad is scooting away, and everybody sitting out back is just going to have to watch that pink car drive off into the sunset. Oh, boy. Look at this right behind. You got Garrett Smithley and Vargas side by side. That is for fourth, but it's all over. Briar LaPrad, he'll pick up his first win of the core summer series and will win race two of the FTF.GG 150 in Kansas. And what a pair of races here from Kansas is, oh, big hit for oh. Brian LaPrade. No burnout for oh. him as he is 
A hard crash. Oh! Oh, man. <laughs> Turbo wreck. 